Hi folks, this is a quick overview of how the new Cut Magic feature works on Video.ai. As you can see, Cut Magic is a brand new way that helps you track cuts and scene changes in your video with AI. Each scene change that is detected within a video can be moved and positioned independently. Just to give it a shot, we are going to try it out with this particular podcast that I really like, which is a conversation between Paul Millard and Ali Abdal. What I'm going to do quickly to get started is click on enable cut magic with the check box over here. What then happens is as you can see on the timeline on my screen, all the cuts that have been detected in this video come up as these small triangles on the screen. Now you can see that there are two types of triangles over here. One triangle, which means that there is just one face in the scene that has been detected and two triangles or a triangle with a cut in the middle, which means that there are two faces that are detected in this scene. Let's see what happens after I play this video now, especially at the parts where there are two triangles. Like I just stopped going out to restaurants. I started cooking at home. I started eating much cheaper. And I'm like, what was I doing for the last several years? Like, I'm not less happy by giving up any of that. But that was like a decent amount of money I was spending. And like, even I thought like, I like kind of needed those things, right? That was like part of what made me happy and do it. <laughs> um, and then lowered my cost. And then the, the other side of that. As you can see on the area that it detected two faces or two separate streams of video within the same video, it automatically switched to two faces or two videos within the same area. Now, here are the other things that you can do with cut magic. The first scene is always detected and it will always remain at zero. You can make it a split screen if you think that it contains two faces. All the other scenes will automatically be detected and populated on this particular menu on the side of the screen. If you feel like adding or changing things on the video, the portions that have two faces will automatically get added as you could see in the video right now. If you want to add a scene cut that was probably not detected for some reason, you can just add a scene cut at the current time and that scene cut will be visible on the timeline as you can see right now. You can now change the color of the scene as well and also delete it should you choose not to keep it. This video can now be rendered with scene change detection the way I just showed it to you. The final output will have two people when two people are facing or talking and multiple faces when multiple people are talking. The algorithm automatically detects the faces in any particular section of the video and it also centers those faces to your video so that you never lose anything when it comes to your video. You can just click on download video, select your export preferences, hit confirm and the video will be out there for you to use. I hope you all find this feature helpful. This feature should enable a lot of creators and podcasters and YouTubers to make faster clips from their videos. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.